morning guys and welcome to my channel confessions of a gaming mum and welcome to post run on sunday today was very tough <laughs> i'm still in that slump where i just can't be bothered to run i don't know what it is but yeah i just kicked my own ass to get out the door today uh, i'm glad i did but it was really really tough it was it wasn't in like because recently i've been feeling it in my stomach and i don't know if that's because of like it being near to shark week or it was just where my trousers like even these ones that i bought i went through stages so i bought i did buy one pair that um when i lost loads of weight last time um they got really baggy so then i bought these ones then z these started to get baggy so then i bought some other ones like short trousers but now the short trousers are starting to get baggy on me so i have to buy some new short trousers but yeah these are the ones that i now wear i used to wear when i went on faster runs because they stayed up now these fall down so i have to only wear them on the casual run because I, I spend most of the time pulling them up but yeah so today with my run it was just i just felt really out of breath a lot of the time and my legs really struggled and i do think it was a lot to do with the heat because it started to get warmer so i definitely need to get out go shopping and buy myself some new running trousers hopefully next week maybe but yeah i can't stay and talk for too long because i need to get back have a shower we're getting food shops so i've got that to sort out and also we're going to go and see um, some family that we haven't seen in a good few months. So I'm going to go spend the day with them. And hoping, hoping the weather stays this nice because it was a really lovely morning this morning. Like the sun's out, shining. It's just a little bit chilly. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. And because it's like spring, like you can really tell spring is here. Everything is just so green here at the moment. It's lovely. Really, really lovely. I'm so, like, I'm, I just, I say this all the time, but I just feel so lucky to have this right on my doorstep to go out and go running. I'll definitely start bringing bubs here soon oh i did my stream last last night and it was absolutely fantastic like not a lot of people turned up so it weren't it was like it was great the people that did turn turn up but it was just great fun because i got to play sims and i haven't played sims in nearly a year it was just great being able to play it and i i think now i'm sort of like it's sims that has lured me like has made me make up my mind about the fact that i'm actually going to look to start doing friday streams so I'm going to do like maybe two to three hours on a Friday. And like I said, I probably won't get a lot of viewers. I'll get like my loyal viewers that come along that don't care what I play sort of thing. But it was just so much fun. Like, because I, I really miss playing The Sims. I really miss like the days when Bubs would nap for like two hours at a time and I could just sit and play The Sims. I uh, can't get to do that anymore and I hate it. <laughs> so yeah so it looks like friday friday night is gonna be my sims night so yeah might have to be my new thing yeah on that note i'm going to say i'm going to speak to you later so i'm just gonna go home have my shower have breakfast hopefully i should be in time because it's 10 past nine so get home have my breakfast have my shower and should be plenty of time before the shopping turns up hopefully because we need to go so anyway yes i shall speak to you later hi guys so the shopping actually turned up earlier than expected so even though i was making good time um they turned up about half an hour early so um but it's good because it means that we can quickly eat our lunch and then go um to visit the family we're visiting today so not too bad but yeah it's a very small shop today because where i'm limiting what i can eat and we have so much bread in the freezer <laughs> That I was kind of like, yeah, I'm only buying the bare minimum because I've got nowhere to put it. So, uh, so yeah, this is what we've got for the shop this week. Right, so we're starting over here. So these are my chicken thighs that I'm going to be eating um, instead of all the other normal things that I normally eat. So I'm still kind of like working out what I'm actually going to have them with. It's probably just going to be like chicken and potatoes, chicken and rice, can't have pasta, so chicken and chips. <laughs> I think that's what these are going to be for, so yeah. Got some free from Tesco from our tray. These are soya, so unfortunately I don't, well I'll have them this week and then I think from next week I might try and look for something else. I might see if they do some like coconut ones that I can have. Oatly won't be changing that because I think oat, oat milk is fine as long as I have it in limited amounts. They didn't have turkey mints, so my husband got me some 5% fat beef mints instead. Uh, for my kima that I'm still making. Got some chips because we run out. My hubby's, this is my hubby's um, lunch that he's changing. So he's having iceberg lettuce, uh, some hummus, and some beetroot falafel that he found that they do. Because um, basically we've not bought any bread because we had that big box that we received yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? I think it was the day before. 
no, yesterday. <laughs> I'm thinking today's Monday for some stupid reason. So yeah, so he got some like wholemeal um, wraps in there. So he's gonna be having those for his lunch. So he's gonna try some falafel hummus and lettuce in there for his lunch um, during the week. Got some butter, we got the olive, olive oil one, which is good, because I prefer that one. Uh, got my chicken Caesar for today. Plant Chef Caesar for my husband, and we had to get a ham and cheese sub for Bob's because they didn't have a sandwich. Over here, we got some nappies. Not sure if we need them, but we thought they're gonna get used, so might as well buy them, it's fine. Um, got some of Bob's oh, grown up milk. Um, got some eggs for me. I think we overbought. I didn't think I actually needed the extra six, but again, they'll get eaten, it's fine. Stocked up on chickpeas. Got my marifat peas again. Mushy peas, hula hoops again because we ran out last week. Got some raisins, rice because I'll probably be doing a lot of it for my my dinner. Um, got some vegetable stock again. I don't think I can have these because I think they've got onion in them. Got ourselves some squash. Got some pasta again. I can't have it because it's got lentils. I can't even have regular pasta anyway. Lemons, onions that I can't have. Uh, loads of biscoff. Custard creams, got some squeezy jam because in the box we got yesterday they had some pancakes so we're going to give Bob some jam on pancakes, I think it's like a weekend treat or something and we got some tomato ketchup so yeah that's our shop and I think that came to £51 something, I don't know where the sheet is, I think Bob's left it at the top of the stairs so <laughs> but yeah just over £51 that came to so it's a pretty cheap shop for us but anyway I need to pack it away and then we need to get on with eating our lunch. Hi guys, so just wanted to give a quick update. It's Monday today. I know I didn't vlog much, if at all, yesterday. I can't remember because we went to see family. So um, yeah, we had a really good day yesterday. It was really nice to see them. We were trying to work out when last time we saw them, we think it was actually September so for like Bob's and my husband's birthday. So yeah, it's been quite a while since we've seen them. Um, so yeah, it was really nice to see everyone. Uh, Bob's had a great time as well. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was just a really good day. Got back quite late. Hey, hey, they live far away. So it was a long journey back, but it weren't too bad. So update for today. I finished, again, I just love the way I'm editing at the moment <laughs> in the fact that I was able to get my weight loss vlog done for today. I had lunch, did all my jobs like hoovering, dusting and everything that I allocate for a Monday. And then after lunch, I finished editing my next Tomb Raider video. So that's just been exporting. That's the first edit that's exporting. So once that's done, then I need to put some game footage in there, hopefully, and some background music and stuff. So once that's in there, then it'll be done. So I'm hoping, the fact that I've done that, it's just a matter of I need to actually record me playing some levels. That's the problem. And uh, the save files aren't working that I'm trying to use. So that's the next big hurdle. <laughs> It's gonna take me ages, but yeah, I really want to do it. So that's my next big thing. But anyway, I think that's that's it. Yeah. So I'm just really pleased that I was actually able to get that one done because I did. I thought that was gonna take me ages because normally when I do one-off videos, they take forever for me to edit. But that one didn't take too long. So I hope the because I hope to make it serious. So I hope it uh, continues that way. <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway, I need to get on with my exercises. So I will most likely speak to you tomorrow. Again, tomorrow is gonna be like a big rush because I've got my run in the morning, I have to come home, I have my shower, I have my breakfast, then I have to take Bubs to his uh, sensory fun imagination class thing, do that, then come home, have lunch, then I have to go out again and actually have my Covid vaccine because I'm having that tomorrow. So, And then I obviously have to see how I get on um, in terms of is it going to knock me for six or am I going to be like my husband and have no symptoms whatsoever, I don't know. So we just have to see. But anyway, I will speak to you later. Hi guys, welcome to Tuesday post run, post new personal best run. So happy. Definitely having rice the day before and get a decent amount of sleep and wearing tight trousers that mean your stomach isn't jiggling all about the place really helps. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with myself. Can't stay too long obviously because I've got to get back. Busy day today. But yeah, I was just super happy that I was able to do it. So hopefully it means that I will just get better. It just means like for now, it's gonna, it's literally a purely beef mode run that I get those sorts of times, but hopefully over time it will get easier. So, uh, but yeah, I definitely need to find some trousers like like these that hold in my stomach because <laughs> I run, because I didn't get any of that stomach cake I had before. So 
yeah. I think my stomach hurts now and I need loo, but that's a different story. What else was I going to say? Oh, I, I stubbed my toe running around, which wasn't fun. So I've probably lost another toenail because I never told you about that. I lost a toenail on my left foot from my running shoes that I got at Christmas that uh, were too small and pinched my toe and that toenail went black and it eventually fell off the other week. There was a new toenail underneath, it's fine. But yeah, it's not a fully grown new toenail. So yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look exactly very pleasant right now. But yeah, I've probably done that with the other toe on the other foot because I stubbed it when I was trying to get around that bloody gate that the council put up. It was really sunny and now it's gone all clouded over. It's like the weather at the moment, it's ridiculous. It's sunny for five minutes, then it's cloud and pissing down with rain for 10 minutes then it come, goes back to being sunny it's just it can't make up its mind at the moment it's stabby stab day today so i gotta get home have my shower have breakfast take bubs to a class come back have lunch and then go out and have my jab so fun times <laughs> but yeah i'm just really happy that i was able to be my personal best so i'm definitely in the sub 30 30 minutes for a 5k group firmly now because it was near, it was just over 29 and a half minutes i think it was at twenty nine thirty five. i think so yeah did very very well very pleased with myself god knows when i'll be running again depending on how i take the uh, covid jab so yeah i don't know why my eyes are really itchy but yeah so i need to head back and get ready so i will speak to you guys later most likely after my jab so i can let you know all know how it goes so i'll speak to you later <laughs> Hi guys, doing an evening video for the first time in forever and um, don't have to have the lights on because it's still bright outside. But um, yeah, I thought I'd give a quick update because obviously today I had my vaccine, my COVID vaccine was a bit more of a wait than I thought it would be in terms of, um, I think they couldn't have as many people in at, at the same time and then they had to have people sit there for 15 minutes before they were allowed to leave I guess just to check that no one had any sort of like immediate reaction or anything. I had the Pfizer vaccination. I thought I was going to have AstraZeneca because my husband had AstraZeneca. So I don't know because I did hear about them saying that um, the younger people were going to get vaccinated with Pfizer rather than AstraZeneca. I heard that was going to like that was the government's plan but I thought it was from like 35 and under but obviously I'm in the 35 and over group so I don't know. But anyway, yes, so I, I had Pfizer. Um, lady was very nice, very lovely that did it, very quick. And uh, I didn't get a sticker, which I was really <laughs> gutted about. I was sat there like waiting to waiting to leave. I was like, I'm gonna get a sticker or anything. And then I was like, no, she doesn't have any. Okay, I'll leave. <laughs> and then I just walked out. But I've got my card. So I've got um, like my, my NHS card that we get over here. I don't know like if other countries have them, but hang on, let's see if I can actually grab it. Um, so I can show you what my card looks like. I won't show you all my information because you don't need to see that. So there we go. That's my NHS card with my details on the other side. So yes, yeah, so I'm due to have my next one on August 12th um, at the same place. I'm assuming it'll be Pfizer again, but um, yeah, didn't hurt. Did feel, did feel it, but more like the pressure rather than the actual like pain of the needle sort of thing. My arms have been aching all day, but I think that was because of my weights I did yesterday um but the left arm that it was in is this arm um has started to feel a bit more sort of like heavy like solid but then I always get that when I have jabs anyway I always get like a heavy sort of achy arm you can't even see like I she had to put a plaster on because I had a bit of bleeding I don't know what it is about me I just bleed more <laughs> I can't like I took the plaster off and can't even see where she did it so but then like I was saying to my husband I was like oh, I didn't think when she asked which arm I wanted it in like, because she goes, you want it in your left arm? So I was like, yeah, that's fine. It doesn't really bother me what arm you put it in. And then I was like, oh. But then I sleep on my left side. So it's going to be really annoying. <laughs> when I tried to sleep tonight, because my arm's going to feel really bruised. And I won't be able to sleep on it. I'm pretty sure that was the thing. Last time I had an injection, I was like, for God's sake. So yeah, sleepless night for me. Yay. But yeah, I feel fine. I don't have any headaches. I don't feel tired other than what I normally feel. Yeah, no headaches, no fever or anything. It's just a matter of going to bed and see how I feel in the morning. So that was the vaccine. We had a call from the guy that's coming to do our little loo. He did confirm he's gonna, he basically said, unless something changes, he will be starting on the bathroom on Tuesday. 
which is good. And yeah, he went to get all the bits today, so he's got everything, so it's all ready to go. So it's just a matter of us getting it done. So I'm really looking forward to it. Exciting stuff. And obviously we've got the sofa being picked up on Thursday, so hopefully I don't have any reaction to the vaccine, so I am actually able to sort the sofa out before it gets taken away. I think my husband's worried about them, like, knocking things over or taking chunks out the wall and stuff, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll move things out of the way in preparation, so. But anyway, I need to get on and do some work on my latest Tomb Raider video, so I will speak to you tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to do my exercises, but we'll see. I'm not counting on it, but we'll see. Hi guys, so it's a day after I had my Covid jab. Um, it's roughly about 26 hours after I had my Covid jab, and I feel fine. Um, the only thing is obviously I've got a bit of a tender shoulder where obviously the jab was which I get every time I have a jab anyway um, I looked and I've got like no scab no mark or anything I haven't even got a lump or anything to show where the jab went so I'm, I've got completely no memory as, as to where it went so yeah it's just a bit stiff so I'm about to do my exercises um, for the day because I feel fine it's just with the shoulder I think what I'll probably do is just not do my push-ups I'll, I'll leave leave them out but yeah so there's that and I've just had like a bit of a headache through the day it's not even something like I'm pretty much not even really noticing it most of the time it's only when I think about it that I know it's there so yeah so it's all good really so I think that was that was all I really wanted to say I've unpacked the ninja foodie pressure cooker crisper thing that my husband got me for my birthday finally because <laughs> it's been sat in the office for ages and it looks really good so it's quite big though so it's a matter of me trying to find space for it in the kitchen to find out where it goes and there's a lot of extra bits that go with it so well we need to throw out our George Foreman grill for one thing because that thing's absolutely disgusting so we can throw that out um, I don't even know if we need our slow cooker anymore because the Ninja is a slow cooker as well so we might be able to get rid of our slow cooker I don't really want to throw it away because because it still works really well so it might just be worth giving it to someone who wants one but yeah so that's the plan I just want to try and find somewhere on my worktop that it can go tomorrow is the I won't be doing my run tomorrow because the sofa's being picked up so hopefully I can try and sort out the room a bit it will either be today or it will literally be as soon as I wake up tomorrow I'm just going to get in that room and get things sorted um, because they're coming from seven so <laughs> hopefully they don't knock at the door like dead on seven we're like uh <laughs> but we'll see but yeah that's all I really wanted to say I don't think there's anything else really to say like I said other than I'm just about to do my exercises so I'm gonna take it easy but I will be doing my stream tonight because I did wonder if I would need to put it off but obviously I don't need to so it's all good so yeah I will most likely speak to you tomorrow maybe so see you then and just like that, the sofa is gone. Hi guys, it's an emotional day. Sofa's gone, it's the end of an era. My husband had that sofa longer than we'd been together. <laughs> I've got like the first picture of me, one of the first pictures of me in his flat is sat on the sofa watching TV. And then he spent every evening basically since Bubbles was born sitting on there, um, trying to get him off to sleep, so. Yeah, it feels weird that it's gone, but just look how much space there is. <laughs> so much more space. So yeah, now I've got to try and figure out how I want Bob's room to, to be now it's gone. Um, my husband has to get the nursing chair that we bought for in here out of the garage, put that together. So that's obviously got to come in here, but obviously then we'll still have quite a bit of space. So yeah, it's just a matter of figuring out what I want to go where. I can open the windows in here for the first time this year because <laughs> the sofa's not in the way so yeah I'm trying to still think about how I want to do it yeah because obviously we've got that hanging out now the cable so I don't know oh, I can't really have his bed there that's what I mean I'm gonna have to think about what's gonna go where see you on the other side I guess <laughs>
here's Bub's room now. So <laughs> I was saying to my husband, it's like, cause this is like obviously a uh, nursing chair. So it, it rocks. So we have to uh, make sure there's a room behind it so it can actually rock. So it takes up quite a bit of space. I was like, it's not actually given us much more space than uh, we had before with the sofa. <laughs> but I think, yeah, I think that was just me exaggerating. So, because we can all just fit his toys around it. So just trying to figure out what to do with all his blankets and things. But yeah, he's got loads of room now. So don't know what will happen when Bub's number two, if Bub's number two um, comes along. But I'm sure we can we can manage. But yeah, actually starts to feel a bit more like a, a proper kids room now, I think. So yeah, hope he likes it. I'm hoping he likes the chair because that's what my husband's a bit um, anxious about because obviously he sits, he normally would sit on the sofa with Bubs. Um, but Bubs wouldn't sit on him. He'd sit like to the side and then sort of curl up on him and fall asleep. So the fact he's going to have to be like in my husband's lap to fall asleep um, might be a bit of an issue, but then, yeah, he just has to adapt. <laughs> Hopefully he'll adapt. So, um, yeah, but that's how it is at the moment. I can finally have the windows open in here, get some fresh air in here. So, so yeah, that's Bum's room. That's what we did today. So I just need to get on with my editing. Hi guys, so oh, it's just so nice. We've got all the windows open in the house, so just like fresh air coming in and just blowing through. Managed to hang my washing up, like all of it. So Bubs' washing's out, the towels are out. It's great. Um, Bubs has been really good today. Like he took his car out in the garden and was just like riding around in that, in the garden. So that was nice. Oh, he kept us up quite a bit last night. So we didn't get really a, a decent amount of sleep last night. Um, he kept moaning about his knee and I was like worried in terms of like, I don't know what, it, like maybe he's knocked it and we've not, and he's, it's not been noticed, but he's not got any like bruises on his knees or anything. So I don't think he has knocked his knees. And I was just speaking to my mum because that's the thing, he's been really sweet in terms of he keeps on asking like nanny, nanny home sort of thing. It's like he actually really wants to see my, see my mum. So well, I'm, I'm assuming that's the nanny he's talking about, I don't know, because he doesn't have his, his individual names for them. So it's difficult to know which one he's actually talking about. I don't know if he misses like my actual nan because obviously she has all the crisps and biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if he's talking about her or if he's actually talking about like my mum so uh, but I'm pretty sure he's talking about my mum because he's always like really happy to see her on the TV and stuff but yeah I was talking to her and saying about like this like and he he did it as well literally just before we sat down for lunch he was crying about his knee and like I said that to my mum and she says it could be growing pains because obviously kids do get growing pains like I can always remember my sister talking about my knees like getting really upset because she had really bad like pains in her knees and it could be Brown pains and stuff so hopefully that's it we'll just have to keep an eye on it and see see what happens but my parents had their first covid vaccine jab today their next one i think is at the end of july so it means they have to wait two weeks after that and then they can come over here so we're hoping to go over there in september and um, we're also hoping to go over to italy in september because we've scrapped new zealand now in terms of being able to go we gutted but i think we just since being able to pay off our credit card debt this year and we've been like really comfortable since then we don't want to fall back into the trap of all the money that we save during the month going back onto paying off credit cards we want it to be the fact that we save the money and then we use the money to spend on stuff so because my husband doesn't seem to be getting his bonus this year or as much this year we're hoping that what we can do is use the money that he does get to put like a large chunk of it towards getting our bathroom done so then once we've had our bathroom done then the big save that we'll start 
doing like the majority of the money we'll save will be towards going to New Zealand so hopefully we'll be able to do New Zealand next year hopefully so yeah it's just a matter of seeing how things go but yeah that's what I said to my husband I think now we've got into that point where we have no credit card bills we have no debt that we're paying off other than literally our mortgage and our car I really don't want to get into that sort of thing where we can't save because we're putting all our money towards credit cards so it's it's a very comfortable way that we're living right now and I don't want to have to like negate that I don't want I don't want to risk us then having to be draining credit card debt again so yeah saving is the way forward definitely oh it's the Tomb Raider 4 um community live stream tonight which I'm really looking forward to so I'll be watching my friends supporting them modding as much as I can so yeah I need to hurry up and get on with my exercises because as soon as I finish I need to go on and watch them and uh, mod for them so yeah better get on with it so I will speak to you guys tomorrow most likely because I've got a big shopping spree tomorrow <laughs> so I'll speak to you later hi guys so yeah this is Monday rather than it being Saturday because I've just not had the time to vlog properly so I wanted to do a quick sort of because basically on Saturday I did a big shopping haul um, of different things that I bought myself. Nothing like major but um, I bought like some new running trousers, bought myself some new deodorant, I bought some new makeup um, brushes and some new makeup as well, vegan makeup. So I thought I'd just show them quick. So these are the new gym trousers I've bought. So this is I tried them on the other day. <laughs> you look at them and you're like, uh, they don't fit you. It's because they're like really sort of the tummy control ones. Like they give you a lot of control, which is what I need when I'm running. So they're a size 12. I'm currently, I think, between a 14 and a 16. I'm a 16 because of my tummy, but, but 14, like, because that's where I should be if it weren't for my tummy sticking out. It was a squeeze to get into them. It doesn't look the most attractive thing, but once they're on, they're really secure. They don't feel like they're cutting into my stomach at all. So they're really good. So I've got two pair of these. These are from M&S and this pair. Because I do love M&S for their sports stuff. They are really good. So, um, and hopefully, I, I did get a size 12 as well. Because I was like, it means, hopefully, if I do, hopefully lose more weight, they will still fit me for quite a while. So, um, I think these were 25, this pair. And these were £19.50. So, that was that. That was out of my, my sister got me money for my birthday. So, that's why I bought bought with those so here's the makeup i was spending ages trying to look around boots because i because they don't do i know super drug do their own brand and it's vegan like they make a point of make of the fact that their own brand in there is vegan but i was kind of like i know boots do vegan stuff but they don't advertise it as much so i was like spending for, hours, for like forever just looking around going i don't know where what what their vegan stuff is but then i saw nyx is vegan formula so i was like well that's the closest i'm gonna find so i started looking at nyx stuff so i've bought this uh foundation it's this one and obviously i'm just really crap at like trying to um get uh oh, there you go yeah i'm just really crap at knowing my color and stuff like that but this one i wore, I wore it yesterday and this one's quite quite good so got this foundation I also have this concealer <laughs> to try and get rid of the bags under my eyes. So yeah, there's that. And also I bought myself a new liquid eyeliner because I need to try it and get into that. But yeah, apparently they're all vegan. So I wore it yesterday. It was all good. Um, I got some new brushes as well. So it came in like a pack of um, like the different heads and stuff. But they're like eco ones. So I think they're made from like, like the car just biodegradable. I know that much. So yeah, you get interchangeable heads and what is it plantable seed paper that is what it's made of biogradable paper vegan and cruelty free all of these so i just got these that i'm using this one for my foundation and this one for my concealer the other ones i think is an eyebrow brush and another one that's just like another one i think to get in like all the wrinkles and stuff but yeah seeded paper i'd never noticed that before it's got like a thing there like you can plant it i don't know what why you're supposed to do that but yeah anyway so that's the main things and like i said i've got deodorant um, I wasn't able to get loads because we were rushing back to try and get back from my friend's um, live stream uh, for Crystal Dynamics because he was live streaming Tomb Raider. Yeah, I think that was it. And the main, main other things were for Bubs. We got him some new sandals, which he's wearing today because my husband's taking him to soft play. We got him some new denim shorts, which I'm going to wash before he wears them. 
um, and some new short sleeve pyjamas like he's got shorts and short sleeve top because he gets really hot of a night yeah that's it and my food is beeping so I need to end this video <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video even though it was a bit rushed at the end um, if you did then please leave a like subscribe if you haven't already you can also follow me on social media or the links will be down below and on that note I'll say love you guys and I shall see you on the next video bye